Hello everybody, welcome back to more NCAA 13 Western Kentucky Dynasty and we start off right away against number 15 Arkansas State. They are ranked that high because they have pulled off a couple of upsets. They beat my own Nebraska team in upset, pretty big upset, so they're number 15 in the country. Pretty crazy and we're already going for it on fourth down because we don't have a very good kicker. And I got really lucky, and I'm going to say I get lucky a lot of times in this game. Uh, I got away with some shenanigans, but uh, Keyshawn Simpson is the man. He is very good, and somebody commented and was like, stick with the running game, and yes, I do agree. That is generally my philosophy, a heavy run style game, because things like this happen when you're in the red zone and you throw stupid interceptions, so that killed that drive. And uh, I tell you, this this Applin guy for Arkansas State is a pretty good quarterback. you got to watch out for him because he can just take off and run and burn you for 15 yards. And you'll see that happen several times in this game. But Keyshawn Simpson just beasting it. I tell you, this guy's good. And then, oh yeah, Bo Brand. Stop short, fourth and one. And we fail to convert. We missed the field goal. I went for a field goal and I just missed it. It was terrible. But as you can see, we're already in the second quarter. This game is one of the uh, more lackluster games that I've had. Uh, there's not a lot going on here. A lot of stalled drives. Both defenses were playing very well. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I was very antsy in this game. And when I get antsy, I tend to scramble with my quarterback a lot, which is unnecessary a lot of the time. And here he goes. Apple just taking off, breaking tackles, spinning through. I mean, I don't know. He just, he's just like a cyclone or something. I really don't even. So, uh, here he goes again, but not going to be fooled this time. Fourth and one. They're going to go for the long field goal. And uh, I'm going to... This is one of the shenanigans. I, I call the field goal return just because. And I'm going to take it 103 yards to the house. Interestingly enough... Uh, I did some testing after this game and found that the field goal return is a little bit cheap. Oh, 105 yards, sorry, not 103, 105. Um, so I've decided I'm not going to run that field goal return anymore simply because it's a little bit uh, cheap and kind of easy if the computer is taking long field goals. But here we go, sacking him on the screenplay. This is before the uh, recently released patch was released so screenplays still are kind of busted on this video but they will be fixed in future videos and man oh man oh man I tell you Jake or uh, what's his name I see this is I'm so bad at this James I think it's James Morrow um, my quarterback he is six foot eight I did not realize this until I was just looking through and I I, I saw on like a replay I was looking at before I was like, he looks really tall. <laughs> he is really tall. He's six foot eight. This guy's a beast. And then we get stuck with a holding call after a really nice pass. So, Luis Polanco, thanks. Should have benched him for that stupid holding. And then, oh, cheeky, cheeky play by me to Jack Doyle. He Tebows. All is well with the world. And it's 14 nothing at halftime on the road against the 15th ranked team. And Big Red is doing some sexy dance moves because he's happy, obviously. This quarterback, he's about the only good thing this that could be done for this offense. Arkansas State just was not playing well in this game. My defense, they've done well, with the exception of the uh, Kentucky and Alabama games. My defense has done well, except for there, when my defensive back decided to... Uh, be really aggressive for no reason. Yeah, I mean, uh, Arkansas State's a good team. You got to watch out for them. They actually they do play Nebraska this year. I'm I'm, I'm calling that game a trap game. Got to watch it. I, I I mean, I should think Nebraska will win. I believe they're playing at home. They're not playing at Arkansas State like this game. And then, oh my gosh, I I think I got a, a good spot on that first down because uh yeah. And then Jack Doyle again. Streak plays are just... I, I 
uh, they're just a little too easy, and it's sometimes hard not to throw to them. And Bo Brand on that nice play. And uh, I thought it was going to be an easy touchdown run, but then Simpson gets blasted, blasted at the line, and we cannot get it in the end zone. So settle for a ridiculously short field goal. 17 nothing, and our team is just having a really good team, and there again a busted screenplay. Unhappiness across the board for the Red Wolves. And I, I, Oku, he's a pretty good running back for Arkansas State as well. I was surprised that uh, he was so not on his game in fourth down. They try to get it. He does everything he can, and I think he actually got a bad spot on that one. I don't know. The refs were, like, uh, in favor of Western Kentucky in this game because I seem to be getting the good, the good spots, and they were just... I don't know. But anyway, like I said, I feel like I got kind of lucky in this game, and... Uh, the field goal return, uh, it's just kind of cheap. But anyway, I don't know how I busted off this many yards on the scramble. I got some lucky blocks. Like I said, lucky, lucky. And Simpson is going to put the game officially out of reach, although not like it was really in reach at this point with three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. So 24 to nothing. We are beating them down. After a little bit of a letdown in our last game, uh, if I remember correctly, I I haven't recorded in a while, so I'm like things I'm referencing to previous games. I don't even I don't even know right now. So, uh, but anyway, they're they're trying to make a move, and look at this, look at that defense, just quick reflexes on that play, beautiful. But they'll get the first down, first and goal, getting some. Uh, Trying to get some garbage, garbage time, but for my defense, I think I don't know. But we were, we were in his face all day. Some good defense, some fantastic defense by these guys, except for this play. This uh, running back, he did not care about anything. He was going to score no matter what, and there's nothing I could do about it. They would go for two and fail, and we would win the game. It was a pretty quick game, and just not a lot going on really. But a win is a win, 24-6. to six. We beat the number 15 team in the country. Pretty freaking good for us. Here's the play of the game. I would almost argue the 105-yard touchdown return on that field goal, which, again, I, I, I don't know. You guys can give me your input, but I did some testing in practice mode, and it's, it's a little ridiculous. Um... So I definitely got away with a little bit of a cheap touchdown there. I won't call the field goal return again. Simply because it's too easy. So um, we'll save our big returns for punts and kicks if we can ever get one of those. <laughs> Which I, I've gotten some of those in my online dynasty. But uh, I have a really good returner on that team. So uh, you can see the stats here. I'm going to cut the part short here, guys. You can, uh, like I said, see the stats. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit shorter video this time. But uh, I'll see you all around next time for our next game. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Jimmer1031. I'm drawing this out, aren't I? But uh, anyway, see you then.